On second. <clears throat> Excuse me, Miss Melford. We're due at the Capitol, and you're porking the math teacher? Keyboarding teacher. Whatever. Don't just stand there. Get your clothes on. Let's get going. I'll wait outside. Yes, sir. <laughs> Students, are you up yet? Open the door. Well, no worries, sir. <laughs> I'll find them. <laughs> I gave you one thing to do and you screwed it up. And not to worry, sir. Not to worry. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. It's a pretty big city, hey, jackass. Hey. It can be anywhere. Oh, my God. I think I found them. Eat this! <laughs> This is ridiculous. Um, I think they're this way, sir. This way, this way. What? This is all just a big sure. setup. Here they are, sir. Well, kids, as you can see, we've all overslept. So let's get moving quickly, quickly, quickly. No, we're not going anywhere with Senator Bunghole. Senator Bunghole? Uh, D'Agostino, shut up and let's get going. Not until you've heard the facts, Principal Moss. It appears that Senator Lerman has invited us to Washington for the sole purpose of embarrassing the president in order to destroy his education bill. Yep. What? Everything we need to prosecute is in here. How did you get a hold of this? That uh, information's on a need-to-know basis. You're out of your league, boy. Senator Lerman, I can't believe I'm hearing this. Oh, shut up, you little slut. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Senator. These kids may not be the cream of the crop, but that doesn't give you the right to walk all over them. And as for Miss Milford, I think you owe her an apology. Why? I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I'll find another way to pass my bill. And as for you, you pitiful excuse for a principal, you're finished a fair amount high. In fact, I'm going to make sure you never work in another school system again. Got it? years of teaching down the drain. What am I gonna do? Hey, don't worry, dude. We're gonna put in a good word for you. Huh, guys? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Hey, we got a serious problem on our hands. What's the matter? The senator's got me oski. <laughs> What's the hurry? Well, this was an interesting field trip. What are we gonna do? Go home. No, we can't let this happen. But if we go, we're only gonna make the president look worse. Like Vietnam, no way to win. What we need is a miracle. Yeah, like the time the school got torched right before finals. Uh, that was, was us. That was you? Yeah. <laughs> now, if we can stop finals, then we certainly can stop some bunghole senator, right, Evie Man? Yeah, right, Dex? Yeah. Let's right. get him. Let's go. Yeah. 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 We don't have much time. Yeah. Let's hurry.
Hey, Todd. Waiting on you, man. You mean you want me to come with you guys? Uh, after all the rotten things I've done to you. You're one of us now. Yeah. 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 Come on. We don't have time for this. I'm sorry. I'm coming. You look just fine. What are you doing? You drive too slow. But I want to be the driver. You can be the timekeeper. Let's rock and roll! Yeah! <laughs> now listen here. You just wait until they call for you. Make me proud, son. About a week ago, I received a letter from some very bright students addressing their concerns about education reform. As your president, I have always taken it upon myself to reach out to the youth of America and hear their voice. So without any further ado, I present to you the future of America. Why don't we move on to some Q&A? 